Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set up a uh, nice idle that uh, will work uh, kind of crudely, but it will work in almost any situation. I know some people are gonna have problems with like fluctuating idle or uh, car stalling all the time. So here is what I did, and it works pretty well. Go to more settings and idle control. Make sure your uh, first thing is selected as PWM and the second one is warm up only you're gonna have closed loop but if you have a four cylinder and running AC setting up closed loop it's borderline witchcraft and uh, I never managed to do it correctly if you ever set that up right please send me your numbers okay your idle valve frequency uh, you may have an old one or a newer version of the idle valve so there are slower numbers and or faster numbers uh, click F1 to consult the instructions to see uh, which your car will work best with if you're starting already and kind of idling I probably would leave it now your cranking uh, duty cycle is where your car starts up and how fast it opens I have it on 27, it's getting uh, you know, a little bit more air since uh, usually the mixture is kind of richer on a startup. Um, next one is uh, your duty cycle for uh, low temperatures and the temperatures you set below. Anything below over here, the fast idle, uh, anything below 130 you will be using this number. Anything above 160, which I set selected, going to use this number and then anything between it will slowly gradually move between those two numbers so basically that's it the problem with uh, a closed loop especially on like four cylinder with AC is that they got such a big uh, power drop when the AC kicks in that it, it has a really hard time catching up really quick and then not overshooting the desire RPM so maybe on V8s uh, or if you're not running AC you probably can set the closed loop one out pretty well but for anything else especially while you're still tuning the car the warm-up only works great next thing we're gonna go to the car and see how that works okay so here is basically how you set it like car is running right now it's at uh, 12 1300 rpm so to lower it first you turn on everything make sure all the auxiliary stuff is running like fans lights and, and so on so it's maximum load on the on the car and uh, you go to more settings side of control and then you adjust just this number for the that's once the car is all warmed up of course so I'm at 26 now, uh, I'm gonna probably go to around 20, but you can go one by one. You burn to ECU, now we close it, and the RPM dropped to 800, which maybe uh, it's a little lower where I want it, so we're gonna go back, let's go to 21. Burn to ECU close it and it's at 900 around 900 so that's perfect so now I'm just going to save this file and it's done also once you turn off all the auxiliary stuff your RPM probably will gonna go up but this is pretty steady and you know not too high RPM for idle especially when you tuning stuff. 